Hello. Hello. Today, we'll be telling people what we think about things and events around us. First, let's ask Bill what he thinks about a TV programme. Watch carefully, please. I think it's funny. What do you think of this program, Bill? I think it's funny. I don't like it at all. Sorry. Watch this scene again. Notice how people express different opinions. What do you think of this program, Bill? What do you think of this program, Bill? I think it's funny. I think it's funny. I don't like it at all. Sorry. Well done. Now, watch carefully how people express different opinions about the same thing. It tastes good to me. I've made some coffee. Would anyone like a cup? Yes, please. Yes, please. Mmm, it tastes good to me. What do you think of it, Anne? I think it's awful. I'm sorry, Roger. Watch this scene again, please. I've made some coffee. Would anyone like a cup? Yes, please. Yes, please. Mmm, it tastes good to me. What do you think of it, Anne? What do you think of it, Anne? I think it's awful. I'm sorry, Roger. I think it's awful. I'm sorry, Roger. Well done. Now, let's see what Bill thinks of Paris. Watch carefully, please. I agree, but Paris is too crowded. I've got a postcard from Paris. May I have a look? Yes, of course. Which do you prefer, Roger? London or Paris? Oh, Paris, of course. It's more interesting and exciting than London. Yes, I agree. But Paris is too crowded. Let's listen to Bill's and Roger's opinions about Paris again. Listen carefully. I've got a postcard from Paris. May I have a look? Yes, of course. Which do you prefer, Roger? London or Paris? Oh, Paris, of course. It's more interesting and exciting than London. It's more interesting and exciting than London.
Yes, I agree. But Paris is too crowded. I agree. But Paris is too crowded. Very good. Now, let's see how other people express their opinions about things and happenings. Good morning, girls. Good morning, morning Miss Prim. Sit down, please. Your mother tells me you have a problem, girls. You cannot talk to people, to men. I am going to teach you to talk, girls. Florence, what do you think of the new book by Mr. Dickens? I uh, haven't read it, Miss Prim. What do you think of Edinburgh, Florence? I haven't been there, Miss Prim. What do you think of Mr. Dacre's new song? I haven't heard it, Miss Prim. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I understand your mother now. You have a problem. Let us begin again. And this time, say something. You, Florence, will say you like it very much. You, Edith, will say you don't like it. Ready? What do you think of the new book by Mr. Dickens? I like it very much, Miss Prim. I don't like it at all, Miss Prim. Very good, girls. Now, what do you think of Edinburgh? I think it's very nice, Miss Prim. I think it's awful. Good. What do you think of Mr. Dacre's new song? I like it very much. I think it's very nice. Very good, Florence. I don't like it at all. I think it's awful. That's very good too, Edith. But we must do a lot of work, girls. A lot of work. What do you think of it? I don't like it at all. I think it's awful. Well, what do you think of the play? I think it's very funny. I like the way it begins. I don't like it at all. No. I think it's awful. What do you think of that? It looks exciting. I like the way it changes direction all the time. Yes, I agree. Well, it looks dangerous, and it's very noisy. I don't like the way it throws you about. What do you think about this? I think it's lovely. I like all his pictures. I like his colours. Yes, so do I. But all his pictures are about factories. Yes, that's true. Florence, what do you think of Mr. Dickens' new book? I think it's very exciting and interesting. I like the way it begins. Edith? Yes, I agree, but things happen rather slowly. It takes too long to get into the story. And what do you think of Mr. Dacre's song, Daisy Bell? I like it. It's a very happy song. Yes, that's true, but I don't like the singer very much. He doesn't sing, he shouts. And what do you think of Edinburgh? I think it's very beautiful. I like the castle. Yes, I agree, but it's a very grey city and it rains a lot. And Mr. Wilde's new play? I like it very much. I think it's very funny. I don't like it at all. I think it's terrible. Very good, girls. Very good indeed. I think you're ready now. Tomorrow you can meet some young men. I like the way it begins. 
I think it's very funny. I don't like the singer very much. What do you think of the popcorn? It's very nice. I like the flavour. Yes, I do. But it's almost too sweet. And it's bad for the teeth. It's too hard. What do you think of this? It's a beautiful camera. And it's easy to use. It's automatic. You don't have to adjust it. Yes, that's true. But it's expensive. And it's very heavy. Yes. Perhaps it is. Isn't it? Yes. What do you think of Akebourne's new play? I think it's very good. It's very funny. Yes, I like it too. But it's very like his last play. Yes, he enjoyed that one. What do you think of the music? I haven't heard it before I like it very much I think it's very nice Well, I don't like it at all What do you think of the people? I haven't met them before I like them very much I think they're very nice Well, I don't like them at all what do you think of the wine? It tastes very good to me. I like it very much. I think it's very nice. <laughs> yes, I agree. Yes, I was in Paris last week. Wonderful place. What do you think of it, Ernest? Oh, uh... Very nice. I think it's very beautiful. I like the castle. Castle? In Paris? Yes, I agree. But it's a very grey city and it rains a lot. Oh, does it? You're very sporty today, Walter. New? Yes, very good. What do you think of it, Miss Florence? Pardon? It's new. What do you think of it? I like it very much. I think it's very funny. Funny? I don't like it at all. I think it's terrible. What about Mr. Dacre's new song? What do you think of that? Oh, yes. Daisy, Daisy, give me an answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. I like it. It's a very happy song. Yes, that's true. But I don't like the singer very much. He doesn't sing, he shouts. Oh! Mr. Dickens' new novel. What do you think of it? I think it's very exciting and interesting. I like the way it begins. Yes, I agree. But things happen rather slowly. It takes too long. Well, is everything all right, girls? Very nice, my dears. I hope you'll be very happy. And if you have daughters, teach them to talk. It's important. It's nice to talk about things and happenings around us, isn't it? Now, let's practice our intonation. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. P. 
People often ask you what you think about a place or a book or a play. Today you'll see two young ladies who are having a lesson. The teacher tells them what to say when someone says, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? Now listen closely to the rhythm, stress and intonation and repeat. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Listen and repeat. You think of it. Do you think of it? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. What do you think of this? It's a beautiful camera and it's easy to use. It's automatic. You don't have to adjust it. You don't have to adjust it. Now concentrate on the rhythm, stress and intonation and repeat. You don't have to adjust it. You don't have to adjust it. Listen and repeat. To adjust it. Have to adjust it. You don't have to adjust it. You don't have to adjust it. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. Excuse me. Are you going to the banquet? Yes. Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to it? Pay attention to the rhythm, stress and intonation and repeat. Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to it? Listen and repeat. Forward to it. Looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to it? Thank you. And now a task for you. But first, listen to the following dialogue. What do you think of this program, Bill? I think it's funny. I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. Now you participate in the dialogue. Take the part of Anne. Program, Bill. I think it's funny. I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. Listen to another dialogue now. Notice how Bill and Anne express their opinions about the coffee. I've made some coffee. Would anyone like a cup? Yes, please. Yes, please. Tastes good to me. What do you think of it, Anne? I think it's awful. 
I'm sorry, Roger. Now, you say what Bill and Anne think about the coffee. I've made some coffee. Would anyone like a cup? Yes, please. Yes, please. Tastes good to me. What do you think of it, Anne? I think it's awful. I'm sorry, Roger. Watch one more scene, please. Listen carefully to what Roger thinks of London compared with Paris. I've got a postcard from Paris. May I have a look? Yes, of course. Which do you prefer, Roger? London or Paris? Oh, Paris, of course. It's more interesting and exciting than London. Yes, I agree. But Paris is too crowded. Now you say what Roger thinks of Paris. I've got a postcard from Paris. May I have a look? Yes, of course. Which do you prefer, Roger? London or Paris? Oh, Paris, of course. It's more interesting and exciting than London. Yes, I agree. But Paris is too crowded. Well done. Now, let's sum up what we've learnt in this programme. What do you think of this programme, Bill? I think it's funny. What do you think of it, Anne? I think it's awful. I'm sorry. It's more interesting and exciting than London. I agree, but Paris is too crowded. That's all from us for now. Thank you. Goodbye.